Hi guys, thank you for joining me in this session related to getting started with the MySQL profiler. My name is Satesh Kumar. I work with Mindfire Solutions as a PHP developer. The MySQL profiler is built into the database server and can be dynamically enabled or disabled through the MySQL client utility. To begin profiling one or more SQL queries, we have to set the profiling option to 1. By default, profiling is disabled when we start the MySQL client utility. So let us set the profiling option to 1. From this point on, any query you issue will be traced by the server with various performance diagnostics being created. So let us execute a sample query. So here you can see that we are getting all the records from the call logs table count of the records from the call logs table. We do not have the call type field as empty. So we get a head count of 2,91,000 records and a time duration of 0.14 seconds. To get a record of all the profiling information related to queries, we can use show profiles command. So here you can see that it stores all the queries against query IDs with the duration information. To get more profiling information related to a particular query, we can use the show profile command. Basically show profiles will show you information for the last executed query, but you can also use it for a particular query ID. Here you can see the profiling information it provides for query 1. Basically it is a list of steps through which the query goes like starting and waiting for the query cache lock and opening tables and locking the table then optimizing the query that is looking for optimizing parameters or information related to optimizing then preparing the query and then executing the query, sending data, that is processing the data and sending it to the client side. Basically the two important things in my view are the executing and the sending data parameters like how much time it takes to execute the query and the time of it takes to send the data to the client. Again you can see that it takes some time and query ending. That is the basic steps after this and freeing tables, logging slow queries and if that has been enabled, like I've enabled it in my MySQL, so it is taking some time. So if I execute the previous query once again, you can see that it takes a time of 0 second. So let's again see the profiling information. You can see that my second query has also been stored in the profile table. Now let's see more specific information for the second query. Here you can see that instead of going to the usual, usual procedure, it checks on the query cache whether this query has been executed previously and if it has been executed, retrieve the data and so it does not have to execute all that previously shown steps and it re receives it from the cache. So again like when you want to disable this profiling option you can set the profiling equal to zero. All the queries which you execute are stored in the profiling and by default it stores only the last 15 queries which you have executed. We can increase it to 100 at the most. You can further fine tune your queries to help eliminate any identified bottlenecks.
using some more options like which come with the show profile command. Thank you.